Now they got to take their losses. Hey, I got about 20 minutes with y'all. Disregard the pimples. You feel me? Because today is what? December 31st, 2021. If you don't know nothing about the months and the years and how they work, tomorrow is a new year. Tomorrow, in a few hours actually, is going to be um, 2022. If you don't catch 22. So, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Tomorrow is a new year. It's a new year and a new day. I forgot what was the point I was trying to make. But, like I was saying, disregard the pimple and just pay attention to... People will pay attention to what they want to pay attention to. You feel me? And that's just the truth. That's the truth which has its own nature in itself. That truth itself is so true that it is evidence. You can see the facts of it in other people. And a person who does not like you, even if you're telling the truth, even if you're preaching gospel, will always find fault in you to point out because that's all they, 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 they fill with rage. So all they see is rage. They have to look at the staples and the components of what will satisfy them about disliking you. So if it's a pimple on the face or you breaking out or you got you was you have some white stuff on your lips or let's say if some bugger coming out, you know, they will see these things quicker than you will because all you doing is trying to hear the message. So you have a thirst for information. So all you will see and hear is information, thirst for information. But a person who's filled with hate and rage for the per for another person, all they will see is the components and the staples of what they want to satisfy them. They both, they both have the same kind of thirst. But it's what you have a thirst for. What is your intentions for? So we can both be listening to the same thing. Somebody can be hearing something totally different, and somebody can be hearing something totally different, seeing something totally, 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 totally different. And another person will be seeing something totally and be like, what did you hear? What did you hear? It doesn't matter what they hear. What did you hear? You feel me? When somebody's trying to change your perspective of what you're seeing, that's when they come with the, what do you hear? What did you hear? Because they're trying to convince you to see something that you otherwise wouldn't have seen. Because your mind and your focus is on something else. But they want to come, they don't want to be the only person that feel this kind of rage. Who wants to hold rage by themselves? Do you know what rage is? Who wants to hold that kind of hate inside them? They need people. Happy New Year again. They need people to be. You have to understand, rage is like a ball of fire. It's hot. So it's like you tossing it around. But instead of you tossing it around, it's more like the rage that's in you. You feel me? You keep tossing it around, but it keep coming back to you because it's your rage. So now you need somebody who agrees with you to keep tossing it back and forth. You feel me? You need to share your rage. You want to sh let it pass. As the ball of fire, the definition of rage is violent, uncontrollable anger. You feel me? Feel or feel or express violent, uncontrollable anger. Basically, it's all the same thing. A person that's filled with rage is filled with or filled with just like they cannot control themselves so it's like that's all they'll see so if i'm speaking to you guys and a person does not like what i'm saying the only thing they're going to hear and listen to is mistakes or things that they can point out to and be like this is this is this and this is that and this is that because it has to feed their rage you feel me they got to keep that fire lit up <clears throat> your fire fire thirst they both sound the same thing when it rains it sounds like it's burning so it's basically the same thing as just expressing himself in a different matter. You feel me? Oxygen is a form of light. 
You feel me? So it's like fire and water, although those both cancel each other out, at the same time, both express themselves in a, when I said express, they both sound the same when, uh, when one is burning or when one is falling, you feel me? So it's the same thing. So you have a test, you have a, a person who have a thirst for information, right? It's the same as a person who has a thirst for rage, you feel me? It sounds the same. But at the same time, the intentions are different. That's the difference between God and the devil himself. You feel me? God is like water, something that sustains life, something that makes something out of life. And the devil is something else that just want to burn things down. It just comes in just to burn ideas down. It comes in just to confuse things. That's what the that's what that's what the, the the rage represents. That's what fire represents rage, and water represents righteousness. And they cancel each other out because water will always empty out fire, you feel me? Unless it's a different kind of fire, but still, they have different kind of waters too. So water will always, always cancel out. So you have God, which is water, and the devil is fire itself. But this is what these people see. So when you have these two entities, right? One is water and one is fire. Some people operate solely from that rage point of view. And the only thing they can do is just feed themselves. That's, that's all they see, my nigga. They see, they hear, they taste, because these are the core of their being. Their father is rageful. So in turn, so in turn, they have become rageful. When I say they fire, I don't mean the biological father. I'm talking about the devil himself, the fire itself. I don't know why I put the fire on the right hand, but it doesn't matter whether you're the right hand or the left hand. It really doesn't matter. Would I put one water right here and uh, it twist it around, it doesn't the meaning stays the same regardless of what side you put it on? So the fire is I said the fire, the father, which is fire itself, which the fire is a representation of the devil himself, is very rageful. A person who cannot control their anger is a person who's not in control of themselves. How can you try to how are you gonna try to control me, but yet you can't control your own anger? You feel me? You can't even control like that is that is devilish in itself. You feel me? You you have to know when to hold your tongue. You have to have obedience. You feel me? You have to have an understanding. You have to have some kind of respect. These I spoke about this yesterday. These are the foundation of what holds society together. Without these components of respect, dignity, um, divine, all these righteousness things, compassion, and everything else, then we wouldn't have the society as the way it is. I can't sit out here like this. I can't be sitting out here in this environment comfortably if I didn't know that it was safe to do so. If it was just ragefulness, and all I see was just rage, and people just acting rage, you feel me? And the people just acting hatred and hateful and everything else, this society cannot hold itself. So we know any, any good foundation is based on the idea of water, you feel me? Something that holds and grow and sustain life itself. It cannot be based on rage. It cannot be based on rage. So we know that water is good. We know that. This is, this is just simple math, A, B, C. I'm trying to break it down as simple as possible. I try to simplify things, you feel me? Simplism. That's what we do, we simplism. We are, we are symbolism. Simple, simplism, you feel me? We try to, we're not trying to confuse nothing, you feel me? We just try to break it down to the most uh, common denominator. The simplest form, you feel me? Just so easy that a child can understand it, you feel me? With a soothing voice. So you receive it kindly, you feel me? I'm not trying to speak to you, but you motherfuckers! Some people will be irritated and cannot, they just don't have the patience to even receive this respect, you feel me? Some of us are just more blessed to, you know what I mean, put our feelings to the side and hear saying things and be like, okay, that's... That's cool. That's from his experience. You feel me? You have to know how to differentiate when you're listening to somebody, where they're coming from, and they're speaking from their experience, and you don't take on their rage. I can be listening to somebody on YouTube, right? And the person can be speaking about, let's say, men going their own way. And that person can be speaking from their experience, and they can be speaking about how they went through something with a female, and, and, they, and you can hear it in their message, but they also have other message within there. Just take what you need. You don't you don't take 
the rage that he speaks. That's his experience. That's him. That's him. If he's saying all white people are this and all white people are that, you don't take that with you. If you just, that's not your experience, don't take that with you. <laughs> Some people speak other people's hatred and think that that's they. They take on other people's pain. I'm like, you never experienced that. Don't take on some, it's not like something that was generationally passed down. It's not like what the African American has went through. You feel me? Where it was generational after generation has been passed down on. I mean, it was only a hundred years ago we just got out of slavery. Maybe a hundred, a hundred years and some change. You feel me? They got out of slavery. You see, I'm even acting like I'm part of it too. I mean, at the same time, I am from Africa. I grew up in Africa. You feel me? But I'm not going to take on their rage and be like, I understand their rage. You feel me? I understand. I'll be like, yeah, that's it was, it was wrong. Yeah. You feel me? It was. It was definitely wrong. You feel me? But I'm not going to be like, white people this and white people that and this people that. No, I can only speak from my experience. I'll be like, I hadn't had a bad experience with Poppy. You feel me? I ain't had no good experience in Spanish. You feel me? That's what I'm going to speak from my experience. It doesn't mean you got to take on my experience. No, you don't take on my experience. No, just hear what I got to say. Take the information that you need, but don't take on my rage of my experience and the bad trauma that I have went through. Don't take on that. You feel me? That's all. Anyway, you know, I be deviating. You feel me? From one top. I do, because it's like, when you open one door, there's another door, there's another door, you gotta keep explaining. So I try to explain everything else, but also come back down to topic and everything else like that. Which sometimes get lost in the loop when you try to explain yourself. Feel me? But anyway, man. They are just doing what their father is. You feel me? They can only see from that point of view. This is our day's perspective. You feel me? I can be walking, I try to, I can be time, I can be walking and stop in the middle of my walk or running and stop in the middle of my run and tie my lace. And from a person who's rageful and hateful, they will see that's oh, his feet hurts. In my mind, or a righteous person's mind, or a person with a uh, with, 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 with a fluid kind of mind, feel me, frequency. Likeable, lifeable mind. Oh, he's just tying his shoe. They see it for what it is. It's like but in their mind, they've been fighting against you for so long. They've been secretly battling against you for so long. They're looking for anything that can say that what they're doing is right. You feel me? That's what I was speaking about yesterday when I said, I am the opposite of everything that they, the, all the insults that they call me. So if they insult, they always call me something. He's this, he's that, he's that, he's this. And they call me these things and they know it's not true. So this is why they work tirelessly to make it true by deceiving, you know what I mean? By tricking, manipulating, you feel me? Trying to force the picture. And it's like, yo, if it's not it, it's not that. The reason why you work tirelessly every single hour of the day is cause, excuse me. The reason why they work tirelessly every single hour of the day, why? Is because that they are trying to force the image onto me, which I'm not. If I am the person that you say I am, then why don't you just Sit back, remove your hands from the situation and let it happen naturally. Let people see it for what it is. But yeah, they have to tie this work on it. You feel me? They have to tie. If I tell you niggas I got a pimple right now and you see it right there, I do got a pimple, then you know what I mean? Like, it's there to see. You feel me? You know I don't have to tirelessly work at it and try to pinch myself and try to make a pimple out of it and try to force my way. No, man, that's not true. There's no need to do all these things, but they work from their father's mind. This is who they father. This is this is their father's mind. This is a rageful mind. You feel me? And everything else that they do is seen through the portal of it. So they got it. They have to like it can't. They cannot deviate from who they are. This is who they are. You feel me? It's very hard for them to deviate from who they are. This is why they work tirelessly. Like they've been, they, they make plans for next week, and the, the week hasn't even, the day is not even over yet. They don't even appreciate the moment right now. They don't. You see, when the serpent came to uh, Eve, right? When the serpent came to Eve, why did the serpent came to Eve, and why didn't the serpent go to Adam first? You feel me? That's what a lot of people don't understand. 
And we're gonna look that we're gonna look at that right now since I got a few more minutes. I'm gonna make it uh 10 more minutes. Woohoo, we got 10 more minutes. Uh, uh, okay, why did the serpent why didn't the serpent go to Adam? And I have my own but the serpent Stop playing. But a serpent came to Eve because Eve was not strong enough. Remember, Eve just got into the world itself. Eve never had the relationship with uh, God that Adam had. You feel me? Adam at that moment in time before he deceived himself and ate the apple was not a human being you feel me adam was like a mini god or he was a god of himself you feel me this is the reason why he can be in the sight of god this is the reason why he can speak to god later on in the bible you can get to see that you can get to see that um when god met people people couldn't see couldn't look at god straight you feel me they always had to look to the other side or, or, or they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't look at God. They said you cannot look at God itself. I'm not even gonna look at that. I'm gonna speak from my own point of view. Then. So Adam was. You feel me? So Adam himself, Adam was the first man, yes. But at the same time, when you are the first of anything, you are more like the trailblazer. You become like an icon. You are more like a god. You feel me? So Adam was the first man god. You feel me? Like it would be like it would be like a a Christ himself. <laughs> you feel before Christ, before Christ came into human form. It was Adam himself, you feel me? So if we was going to worship anybody, we could be worship Adam. But Adam has a flaw, you feel me? But later on, then Adam became human because of his mistake. The reason why Adam in the Bible is man, because he was the he was the epitome of what a man is. You feel me? Walking with God, steadying with God. Even when you look at the proton, the proton cannot attract the... No, if you look at the um, a proton, the proton cannot attract electron if it does not if it's not in the center with a neutron that's science right there but adam was with god he was constantly working with god he seen god god was teaching him and everything else he was speaking he was having a whole conversation back and forth he was among god itself eve never had the privilege to even be in that he she was coming into it she wasn't as covered or in, 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 in a covenant with God, yes, she was going to work her way to it. This is why Eve is life itself, because life has its up and down. The meaning of Eve in Hebrew is life. So Adam's, Adam himself, he's, he's an entity, you feel me? He's not really human yet, but Adam has a life, and his life is different from him himself. You have to understand what's going on. There you go. It's very hard. To, it's complicated, but I'm trying to. I'm trying my best to understand, so y'all can understand it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna break it down. Don't worry. We gonna break this shit down. It takes time to understand these things. You have to understand God, man. First, let's go back to God. You have to understand God Himself, right? This said the Word was with God, and the Word was God, which meaning everything about God is so alive that His words are an entity of His own. It will be as if my hands and my legs can detach from me and still be an entity of their own. Can still create life of its own. You feel me? So everything about God is so alive that even if a piece of his cloth was to fall off, it will bless the very environment that it is in. That's when Jesus Christ, when he was walking on earth and the lady touched his garment, she became automatically healed. You can be at a state of so divine that pieces of you can be, be can be a life of its own so that's what they were describing the bible adam which is an entity a human being 
Eve in the meaning of Hebrew, of the Hebrew Bible, is life. So Adam's life, the life that he was supposed to take place on his own without the guidance of God himself has flaws in it, just like life itself. You're going to go up and down, obstacles and everything else like that. This is why you are not of this world. You feel me? This is because you were supposed to be tempted by the devil. You have to go through these tests. This is why the serpents was or came around and was able to deceive Eve first. Was able to deceive Adam's life. That's his life force. Because in order for Adam to recreate, he has to do it through life itself. So that's his life. That's his womb. A womb man, you feel me? That's that's you feel me? That's his attachment. He can't separate himself from the woman itself. They tell you that all the time. You can <laughs> you feel me? Like this shit is crazy. It's crazy. But look, you have to understand, like everything, even God, if God, if a piece of hair from God falls off, that hair itself will be a life force and will grow into whatever it needs to grow into. It will express itself. The voice of God. That's what I want to be. I want to be the voice of God. But even the voice of God itself is, is created everything that we see today. You feel me? It put everything into function. Let there be light. And then there was light. Then everything, the light, the voice of God gave an understanding, uncovered things that cannot be seen. A, a filled in void. You feel me? So the breath of God itself even gives life itself. Even when God passes by, the wind of God. <laughs> that itself gives life it sustains life you feel me so everything about him you just imagine that if i was to just fought right now my fault can't even my father i'm so special imagine if i was to see myself as a god i am a god i'm a son of god everything that i do cannot be a flaw now my understanding is not your understanding so you might you might see it as oh this happened this happened but you don't understand the 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 the, 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 the conclusion of what is taking place. You might be seeing a very micro stage in your life right now and not understand the bigger picture. You feel me? So let's get back to the story. I'm gonna walk with you. Walk with your nigga. Talk with your nigga. I came and shut it down with ski masks and four pounds. Alright, let's go. So I'm still on this topic of um the devil and God. I'm trying to understand I want you to understand the difference between the two, you feel me? And I'm still going through it because we are looking at what God has touched and what the devil has touched. But we have to look at it from the Genesis point of view from the beginning itself. I always take a break here and keep walking. Anyway, look, man. So, Adam, when God created Adam, his first creation was too godly. You feel me? It was too, too godly. But yet, it still needed, you see? Adam was born, no, not even born, Adam was created as a man. They never said Adam was a boy. They never said Adam was a, a child. They said Adam means man. So for God's first creation was the fulfillment of what we supposed to be already. Remember, Adam, if we're going to worship anybody, we should be worshiping Adam, honestly, but he has a flaw. Adam was the first man that was created in the image of God himself before Christ. Before even Christ was always around. But before Christ came into man form, Adam has already opened the doorway. He was a trailblazer of it all. So God created him as a man already. Christ was born into this world. This is why Adam has so much advantage over every other character in the Bible. This is why he's still relevant. You feel me? This man was created as a man. Who has ever came into this world as a man already? Unless you're a trans, you, 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 Terminator. <laughs> you see how the Terminator just came? Boom, just like that, you feel me? So Adam came into this world as a man. And the woman was someone who is the life of Adam. Adam, Adam couldn't have life itself if it wasn't for the woman itself. That's why Eve means life. You feel me? So Adam's life had to be tempted. Your life will always have to be tempted in order for you to grow. This world is a testing ground for you. You feel me? It's an up and down and everything else that make it fun and everything else like that. And the serpent, that's when the devil comes in. That's when the devil has to interject himself. 
the serpent can only speak to the things that is attached to you. It can never come to you directly. It has to always speak to the life. The things that you call life, what? Your job, your spouse, your kids. This is your life itself. This is what, this is what came out of you. These are your ideas. When you meet your wife, it's a manifestation of what you like. That's why you met her. You, your kids are something that you created out of yourself. So everything apart from you is life itself. That is your Eve. You feel me? Understand, understand it. You feel me? So the devil can only tempt. There's a New Year's resolution message. It's free. So the, the devil can only tempt your life, not you as a godly person yourself. They can't tempt the Adam in you because you're too holy. The only way you can become a man, now you can become a human being. The only way Adam became a human being when Eve, the people that's around you, deceived him. This is when Adam became a lesser man of himself. You feel me? But before that, Adam was a god. You feel me? You can, we can all, this is how you become a god on earth itself, by becoming who you are. Just get back into your Adam form before you became, before you was deceived. You feel me? It doesn't mean that you throw your life away and everything else like that. You guide your life into the things that you internally already know. God has already taught you everything that he needs to teach you already. The reason why God even decided to take a, a rest is because he trusts Adam enough to control the things that was around him. He still do trust Adam to this day. His covenant is not broken with anybody. He still holds the same covenant. It's just that we misplaced and we destroyed and we and we and we and we broke that trust. So the best thing for us to do is to come back into ourselves. Relax, relax. You see how the devil is? This is in conclusion to my they only hear. They only hear what you see, their whole perspective, which includes their hearing, their five senses. It's to pick up on things that feed that rage. So, this is all they're looking for. And you as an Adam, where you need to get back to, you need to get back to your righteous state of mind. You need to be like, where, who's my companion? You need to start looking at the things that God has already taught you. Like, you feel me? Steady the land. Steady everything else that you need to study. Be educated. Be strong. Be physically like you feel me be everything that you need to be so you can be the better version of yourself so you can ask for your companion someone who can com compliment you because you're already a complete individual just ask for somebody who can compliment you and stop being these people who only listen and hear rage hatefulness because that's all they can see they can't see nothing else they want to prove you wrong that's why the serpent came in just to prove that, hey, he didn't say that. Confusion. Because that's all the serpent here. The serpent was not telling a lie when he said the things that he said. He can only speak from his perspective. So he's deceitful, but he's not a liar. <laughs> you feel me? That's a whole other story in the sub. I got to go. You feel me? I wish I could pay for this because I'll be out here all day talking for two hours. But he's deceitful himself because the only thing he heard because remember, how did the serpent even know what God words were? These people listening. They listen. What's the difference between hopelessness and patient? They have no choice but to wait. They don't have no choice. It seems like it's patient, but it's hopelessness. They're waiting for you to fail. You feel me? Anyway, man. The serpent is always listening. You already know, man. <laughs>